If you're really keen on breakfast and you really, really want some nice fluffy pancakes, then buttermilk is a great ingredient in wonderful American pancakes. So I'm going to show you how to make American pancakes today. What we have ingredient wise, we start with flour. Now you see here, I've got two different kinds of flour. I've put whole wheat flour and white flour together to make a total of 280 grams of flour. So 140 white and 140 wheat. I also have uh, 45 grams of white sugar. I have five grams of baking powder and five grams of baking soda, bicarbonate versus baking powder. They're two very different things. You have to have both for this recipe. I also have five grams of salt. I have 45 grams of melted butter. I have 625 milliliters of buttermilk. That was all the buttermilk left over after I made my soft roll uh, dough. And last but not least, I have two eggs at room temperature. Now you'll also see here this bottle of cinnamon. I have cinnamon because it's not actually always in American pancakes, but I like to put it in because it's delicious. So let's get started with our process. Actually going to start by putting all of our dry ingredients in the same bowl and mixing. So that includes our sugar, our baking powder and our baking soda, our salt, and if you like to add cinnamon, your cinnamon. And I don't measure this, I just add a bunch because I really like the taste. I'd say that's probably about a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna stir it all together and get it really well mixed up. Now I'm not gonna mix my pancake batter in this bowl because it would be too small. I'm just gonna make sure that I get my flour and my other dry ingredients mixed up and then I'm bringing my big bowl back. I'm putting my flour into my big bowl and I'm making a hole in the center of my flour. A well, we like to call it in baking recipes. I made a well in the center of my flour. Now one thing, a tool that will be super important is this a whisk. You must use this in order to mix your pancake batter. Now I'm gonna start with my milk and I'm gonna dump it into the well. It's fine if it flows over, that's like not even a big problem because that's exactly what it's gonna do because you use a lot of milk because we don't want our pancakes to be super duper thick. They'll be thicker than crips. Then I'm gonna pour in my butter. And then finally I'm gonna crack my eggs into the bowl. One egg, two egg. Now, unlike crepe batter, we want there to be lumps in our pancake batter. So I'm just gonna start so that I don't spill anything by kind of twisting. I'm not gonna beat it very hard. I don't need to with pancake batter. I do wanna break my egg yolks though. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting all the dry stuff mixed into the wet stuff. And looking back on this, I probably should have used a bigger bowl, but we're too far into it now. But you can see, as long as I mix hard but small, I'm not gonna spill my pancake batter. So it's okay, as long as I'm careful. And I wanna get all of the dry stuff from the bottom mixed in. That'll be the only difficult part, is making sure that you don't have lots and lots of big dry chunks in your batter. But really, I'm almost done. I just want everything to be wet. I want everything to be mixed. So all I'm gonna do really fast is just make sure that I got all the way down to the bottom by running my spoon through it and just making sure I don't see or feel any like big dry patches at the bottom or the corners of my bowl. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for 10 or 15 minutes. That will make our pancakes extra light and fluffy. And while that sits for 15 minutes, you're going to preheat a really big skillet, like this one, big skillet. You're gonna preheat that on your stove to about medium heat. I've got nine settings on my stove and my stove runs pretty hot. I'll be setting mine for about five, five and a half. See you in 10 minutes. It is time to make some pancakes. So what we're first gonna do is now that our pan is preheated, we're gonna put some butter into the pan. It's gonna sizzle around a bit and that's perfectly okay. We don't want the butter to burn. We want it to melt really nice and quickly. It can even brown just a little bit like it's doing right now. 
And the way that I like to measure out my pancake batter is using an ice cream scoop because it gets me exactly the amount that I need. So I'm gonna drop that into my pan. Now the signs of a cooked pancake are two main things. Number one, that you see lots of bubbles coming up through the pancake. Number two, that you see dry cooked pancake around the edges. You won't see it in the middle quite as soon, but you'll see lots of little bubbles and you'll see dry edges around the pancake. Now what we can do is we can check the bottom of our pancake and see he looks quite done, even though it's still goopy on the top, and that's okay, because we're just gonna flip him over. Even if there's little goopies, it's not a problem. We can literally just tuck them back in. And now a really good way to tell if a pancake is getting done is to press it. If it still feels kind of goopy, or if it doesn't spring right back, then it's not ready yet. So it looks like our pancake is just about finished. So we'll lift them up out of the pan and I've got a plate standing by where I can put my pancakes. Now I'm gonna fry the rest of them up and we'll come back in just a moment or two and I'll show you what a yummy looking plate of pancakes looks like. So here we go, how to make a good old stack of pancakes. We're gonna make a stack of three and then we're going to top that with some butter. Doesn't need to be a ton of butter. Just a little bit of butter, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Now here's the secret to American pancakes, and it's a little bit tough to find in Belgium, but luckily my father, who loves me very much, brought me a keg of pure maple syrup. This is a favorite for pancakes, but you could also use something like uh, the, the, the brown sugar syrup uh, that's made in Belgium, those sorts of things, but I love it with maple syrup. Now this maple syrup has been heated just a little bit, and then we pour it over the top, and we enjoy.